this is the god tear do it all level mouse this will hold it over for years and it is still <laughs> number one the top mouse for productivity out there and i can see why i don't see how logitech is going to top this Well wow, people, welcome back to Donnie's boy Kamani Brown and today I'm about to speak about something very special. This God tier level mouse, the Logitech MX Master 3S mouse. Not the one for Max, but this is the real one, the one which is made for everything. What makes this one especially special over the one made for Max is that it actually comes with this dongle here for no extra charge. You actually get this dongle sometimes it goes on sale because this is actually older than the mac version and this dongle allows you to have more precise connection or more stable connection to your primary device this thing can connect up to three devices at once you press this button to switch between the different devices you can set one to this and the rest can be bluetooth so with Macs especially, or well, I'm not sure about Windows machines, but for Macs especially, you can just connect via Bluetooth without the dongle any at all. So very versatile mouse here, and it gets even better. Now going down the spectrum down here on the box itself, it has that mag speed scroll wheel, which is this here. Right now I have it set to the unlimited scroll. This is a very nice scroll wheel. It's made out of, I think, steel or aluminum metal is very balanced it's like the katana of scroll wheels people very balanced very very premium feeling <laughs> forgot about this people but by default you actually have this button here you can actually switch between different modes you have the standard you know rigid scroll as i would call it that you're used to on pretty much every other word of the mill mouse where you feel it you know clicking into place you press it and you literally hear it do this thing where it just unlocks it and then you just scroll it feels so good and so satisfying also it's extremely silent this is me matter of fact let me just click it normally i know you can barely hear this thing you hear that it's super silent so if you're up late at night working with your spouse or your kids you will not be disturbing anyone at all love that very standout feature for me also going back to the box you have an app which allows you to have pretty much endless possibilities like you can have so many different presets custom made custom tailored to any app like right now this is my go-to mouse for davinci resolve i'll soon run a demo on that to show you guys how this thing works this has sped up my workflow me working a lot less painful <sighs> guys you won't believe it until you see it for yourselves also has a super precise laser here that's not only invisible but also allows up to 8,000 dots per inch of precision that's extremely precise so this is not only good for productivity but also if you're a gamer you can do that too that's extremely precise and very quick i can't even set it that high i actually have it at around 2800 dpi can check that in the app for confirmation but that's the furthest i can send it to without me having to huh, have to like take my time and move like a millimeter at a time whoever can handle that 8000 dpi my hats off to you people like i can't do it i can't flipping do it but yeah people getting straight back to this thing another standout feature that it is known for is this side scroll wheels so for spreadsheets or in my case davinci resolve this comes in clutch to easily scroll through my timeline one-handed also has these two buttons here as well a lot of people use these things for forward and backward on their you know their web pages i set them to actually cut forward and cut backward you'll soon see that on davinci resolve you can't do anything with this it has another button here as well it also has this button which i already mentioned before which at by default is set to lock and unlock the scroll wheel but you can set it to anything that you want and another invisible feature 
gestures. You have four directional gestures. You can swipe it right, swipe it left, up, down, and do combinations with them for additional buttons. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Am I missing anything? Oh, 11, because you, you can also click the scroll wheel as well. So I may have missed something, but you soon see when I get into DaVinci Resolve, the types of possibilities this thing has. And let's just jump straight into it, peeps. Let's get straight into the laptop. And right here, as you guys can see, let's move this box aside. I was actually going to throw it, but the old girl is in here, my old mouse. My all-time favorite, you may have seen that video that I did on the channel about that one-handed trackball mouse that I love. I love that thing to pieces. Um, but yeah, she's right there in a sort of coffin kind of setup. And right here, my Mac, to make it easy and stable, I'm plugging in the included dongle, which I currently have to setting number three. So let's get to that right there, it's all set. Now let's bring up my Mac here, let's jump right in, let's plug in the dongle, there it is, the dongle now has power, it's now asking me about the accessory, I'm going to connect, it is now live, now command shift 5, let's get the screen recording going and we're in. Let's get to that app I was talking about there, Logitech Options. You have to, of course, download this from online. And here we go. We currently have about 50% battery left. People, this battery lasts, I kid you not. You can go a couple of months without charging this thing. And that's another standout feature. It has a rechargeable battery in it. So you don't need to be buying any batteries for it. Even when you're charging it, when you plug it in via the USB-C cable as well, because it also has USB-C connection, you actually can use it. So if you want, you can have unlimited power. So that's another standout feature, but trust me, this battery lasts for like months, people. So let's click the device. It's a very nice looking interface. And here we go. So here's a point and scroll. Let's check this out. I currently have it set to 2350 dpi but you can send it all the way up to 8000 dpi but as it, i can barely contain the power people <laughs> most any slight movement this thing goes all over so let's turn this back down cannot handle that level of speed and precision so let's bring it back down to that i'm good with this and this black pad that I currently have here under the laptop is a bit restrictive, has a bit of resistance to the texture, but let's keep it rolling. The thumb wheel, I currently have this set to about 50% speed. You can set this to anything you want. I also tend to prefer it being inverted on DaVinci Resolve where it moves in the exact direction that I want it to go. By default, it's like push and pull like you would with a mouse. The scroll wheel, as I said, you can have it on standard or natural. You have smart shift, which allows you to press the button yet again. That allows it to shift from free spin to ratchet. Ratchet is that one I was talking about where it stops with every scroll. Free spin, of course, is that unlimited scroll that I love so flipping much. And yeah, that's about it for that part. Um, let's come out of that. We have easy switch which as I said before, we can switch between up to three devices. Now I have it set to my MacBook Air, my Mac Studio at the moment. One of them, well, when I'm ready to actually use it on my Windows machine, I just use a dongle. It's easier that way. A Mac is pretty seamless to switch between them. It's currently saying MacBook Air, obviously, because the dongle is currently plugged into it right here as we're on screen. So let's move on. Uh, flow, Logi Flow, or Logi Flow, or whatever, however you want to pronounce it. This pretty much allows you to seamlessly move between devices. And of course, you have your settings where you can update it, you have your firmware update, etc. 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 Let's go back to buttons here. Um, here you have several apps here, several custom apps. You have your global settings, 
your Chrome settings, your Microsoft Excel, Word, etc. I actually set these up some time ago. I think Zoom was just one of them that they randomly just tossed in there for whatever. And you can easily go in here. You can set this to anything. You have your standard gestures and stuff here. You have your smart actions. You have your other actions here, people. It's a lot of crazy stuff. It's pretty much the same for every button, more or less. Which goes to show you can make this thing to behave exactly how you want it to behave. You have the forward and back buttons here and the gestures that I was telling you about. You swipe left, swipe right, and etc. I actually don't have my DaVinci Resolve settings on this thing yet. But you know what? Let's do it here on camera. So let's go to the middle button here, right? And let's go to a keyboard shortcut, which for me, it's space, play or pause when I press that, right? The shift wheel, I usually have this set to, um, to split. So for me, keyboard shortcut that I have set for that currently is one. Horizontal scroll does what it needs to do, doesn't really have a button on it. Back, I usually have this to cut behind the playhead, which I currently have set to three. Um, forward, same thing, keyboard shortcut. I set that to cut in front of the playhead. So that's four for me. Um, gestures, let's check that out now. Move left, you usually have that to undo stuff. So let's see, undo, yes, that's it. Um, to the right, usually have that set to redo. Anyway, let's just work with this for now, people. I can't, I'm not gonna remember this all on screen right about now, but yeah, let's move to DaVinci Resolve. I thought I had prepared, but hey, all the better, see me doing this thing live in living color here. So let's jump straight into DaVinci Resolve and let's just do a quick test here. Currently, watch my hands here and what is on screen. I currently have the playhead right here. I'm going to press the scroll wheel here as a shortcut to play and pause, right? I will now proceed to use the middle button here, which by default was set to setting the scroll wheel to different modes. I can now use it to cut my timeline. Anywhere I go, I can cut my timeline. Bam, bam, bam. And now I can undo them by simply holding down the gesture button and swiping it, swiping it, swiping it, swiping it. I can redo it by swiping it in the other direction. Swiping it, swiping it, swiping it. See, it's that seamless. Um, what else we got here? Uh, I can press the back button to delete what is behind the playhead and can undo that. And I can press the forward button to delete what's in front of the playhead can undo that as well so pretty sweet people so this gives me some nice one-handed control I almost never have to take my hand up from my mouse when I'm editing here and as I said before in the app you can add as many apps as you want as you so desire as you see me hover over the different apps to see the functions on the mouse change and press the plus button there you can add any app on your device if it's missing you can actually add other applications here you press there you press apps you select any other app that you may have that's not in the list the possibilities are endless people this thing is worth its weight in gold like i was skeptical so many other youtubers so many other content creators including the big ones out there speak about this thing i was like you have so many of those other mice out there, like the MMO mice, which have like 20 or so buttons on the side. I'm like, hey, those must have more utility. I almost bought one of those. I am so glad I walked into Best Buy, saw this. I was like, hmm, guess I could return it if I don't like it. So gave it a shot. Guys, I was blown away. Like, I can't believe I almost did not get this. <laughs> but going back into DaVinci Resolve, I can also use the side scroll button to scroll through my timeline. I can increase and decrease the sensitivity at will. Um, guys, I can hold down option button and scroll to make the timeline bigger or smaller, but I think that's a standard thing. Um, see this, 
continuous scroll thing is addictive people like i love it so flipping much but yeah so yeah pretty nice guys like and this is not even all the shortcuts that i have currently set to it um this is just the primary shortcuts that i have you can make this thing anything how you so desire and want it to be i love this and i have spoken enough about this so we're gonna stop the screen recording here we're coming back to my face and yeah guys this is a real deal out of all the custom mice out there for productivity and even gaming with that 8000 dpi precision ah, yeah this is the god tier do it all level mouse this will hold you over for years this has actually been out for a couple of years now maybe three or more years at this point and it is still <laughs> number one in terms of the top mouse for productivity out there and i can see why i don't see how logitech is going to top this but the next iteration you damn well know i'm going to check it out people i'm amazed by this thing so as usual i'll leave a link to this in the description below for you to check it out for yourselves and in my pinned comments as well so once again people thanks for tuning in if you don't know i'll appreciate a like subscribe and of course hitting that little notification bell so you know when the next video is out let me know what you think about this thing if you have any further questions about it of course let me know in the comments and i'll answer every single one of them so see you guys in the next one peace out and take care